Hello everyone, welcome to the Let's Ride channel. My name is MTC and this is my Bronco Extreme 11. It's a 72 volt, 35 amp hour monster. The battery pack consists of 18650 LG batteries and the motors are controlled by a 2-in-1 72 volt, 100 amp sine wave controller. Speaking of the motors, this scooter has dual motors reaching a peak output of 8400 watts. It also has dual hydraulic nut brakes, which are capable of stopping on a dime, and is also equipped with DNM front coil suspension and DNM back air suspension. Both are adjustable, perfect for those looking to dial in their ride. This supposedly all adds up to a max speed of 70 miles per hour and a max range of 80 miles. However, as far as the 80 miles go, that is on mode 1 and in eco, so take that with a grain of salt. All this adds up to a scooter that I absolutely love, uh, but that's not to say it doesn't have its drawbacks. Right off the bat, I did have to swap out the handlebar grips for clamp-ons, as the OEM ones slide a lot. Uh, also, I had to add some tape on the right handlebar, as this is a folding handlebar. The right one had a little bit of up and down play in it, so adding a little bit of tape actually fixed that, and we're all good to go there. Uh, and then... You know, as far as the grips go, the handlebar grips just slipped around so much and ate up my hand that, you know, I just had to do it. Uh, additions, I also swapped out the bell for a horn because I, I wanted something a little bit more uh, powerful for this powerful beast. Um, also, I added, added an extension bar up front for my additional light because I do plan on doing some night riding and the onboard one just wasn't enough. Um, and so I've got my light up there as well, and aside from that, I think we're all set to go. Um, while there have been some issues with this scooter so far in the past 450 miles that I've had it, uh, that's, you know, a good two weeks of riding, um, overall it's been a pleasure, and, you know, after riding the Cabo Mantis for a good year and a half and putting a good 4,000 to 5,000 miles on that, uh, switching to this has just been amazing. So let's go on a ride and I'll tell you a bit more about you know the things that I love about this scooter aside from just those paper specs that I read out to start. And I want you to know this isn't going to be a super in-depth review. I mean quite honestly I probably went over the majority of the information that I wanted to go over just now. Oh uh, bear with me let me put down my visor. All right, so um, this series is more going to be about the rides I take on my Bronco on a daily basis because I do ride this thing daily just for fun. Um, and you know, things I encounter and such. But I hope you enjoy the view. I'm testing out a new angle on this uh, chest mount, so hopefully it'll work out properly. Um, this will be the first video I'm actually posting to my channel, uh, so <laughs> after many takes. So I'm hoping this goes well, and that's probably why it sounded a bit more scripted, because it was! Every single time I've tried beforehand, I've just gone right off the top of my head, and while it did sound far more natural, I kept on missing things, or, you know, something would happen, etc. So, Hopefully uh, that take is good enough and you'll get a more natural me moving forward in this series. Now, uh, that said, I did pay full price for this scooter. I'm getting nothing for this riding series or that you know information or my good review on it so far. Um, however, I bought this open box at full price. So Initially, unfortunately, it didn't come with the steering damper, and so I'm still waiting on that from Free Motion Shop, but, uh, you know, no biggie. All that means is I, I just can't test out the 70 mile per hour max speed on this as of yet. Um, I did make sure the controllers worked, though, properly. I put this on a stand and uh, tried the acceleration, and it got up to 90 miles per hour on the speedometer. So I'm fairly confident that when on the road, 70 miles per hour should be attainable. 
And I'll tell you, I've already hit 56 miles per hour on this, albeit I did have a bit of a speed wobble issue there. Um, I'm thinking though that was more in relation to the pressure in my tires because the, the next day I uh, repressurized my tires and you know 54 felt like 40 so it could have been riding stance as well um, as I stated I am coming from a Cabo Mantis Pro and uh, comparatively this thing is just a beast compared to the Cabo Mantis Pro. It just has so much more power. That said, I still love my Cabo Mantis Pro. Uh, it's a very, very nimble scooter. Uh, you can get up to 40 miles per hour. I mean, there's not much more you can ask for when it comes to an electric vehicle. However, like many others, I too have found issues procuring uh, tubes that actually fit properly and so I've probably gone through a good 10 tubes in the year and a half I've had it could be worse though I mean I've still gotten well over 4,000 miles from it so but I'll save the rest of the uh, <laughs> information about the Cabo for the uh, actual ride series on the Cabo because I do ride that still on a weekly basis, probably two to three times a week. Just because I, I love riding, guys. Guys and girls, I suppose, sorry. Now my goal for this series, now that I've gotten the majority of the information out of the way, as I stated, I just kind of want to take you guys on my rides, show you some cool sights, and show you how uh, crazy I can I can be at times. <laughs> you know, I really try to ride responsibly. I mean, as of right now, I'm wearing my uh, Scorpion XO R2000 helmet, so it's a full race helmet. I've got a riding jacket on that has chest plate, back plate, elbow pads all built in already and these uh, these are no joke people like high high powered scooters if you get in a wreck you definitely want to protect your noggin if anything right because this isn't like a, a car or even a motorcycle for that matter. So just be careful, be safe. If you have to ride the road, do so safely. So today I am actually on my way to the Sammamish River Trail. It's my favorite trail to actually ride. And I plan on hitting mile 500. As far as my total miles ridden since I purchased this. And now in a two and a half, three week period, I'd say, uh, it's quite a lot of riding, wouldn't you? That's primarily about 50 miles for the longest days. Riding at speeds upwards of, you know, 40 to 50 miles per hour for a significant duration of them. So, while I'm not going to try riding this in mode 1 on Eco to check the, uh, the stated 80 mile range, I actually wouldn't doubt it. In fact, with these sine wave controllers, I think they may be possibly underestimating a bit because sine wave controllers tend to be more battery efficient than square wave. So it would not surprise me if you could actually get like 85 to 90 out of it. 
All right, and we're on the trail now. Uh, the actual posted top speed here is 15 miles per hour. However, you know, you'll see a lot of people with their road bikes. I always say road bike, but it's a road bicycle and their spandex and you know, those types that are easily pedaling 20 to 25 miles per hour, if not faster. So I would say just don't be an idiot. Don't pass people at high speeds. But if you get some breathing space, go for it, which I tend to do. Now, past couple of days, there haven't been that many people on the path, so I have been able to go just at, at very fun speeds, so we'll see. But if I don't, I do plan on hopping off the trail around Willows and taking that back. And that's generally where I can actually get the most speed. So. Now the other th thing that it's a little hard for me to get used to on the, the Bronco here, or one of the things that's hard for me to get used to, is the kick plate on the back. It is at such a high, awkward angle that it, it takes a little bit to get used to. I, I'm pretty sure that's part of my initial re like issues with uh, trying to travel at faster speeds without the damper and getting that wobble just because my back foot isn't seated properly or, or wasn't seated properly. But I, I think I've actually found a very ideal riding position on this. So here's hoping. That said, it might put me a little off center from my camera and the, uh, or not my camera, sorry, my, my light, but I'm hoping not too much because I'd like you guys to see the actual speedometer as I go as well. I will say I have checked this versus GPS and it is about one to two miles per hour off as far as that's concerned. Um, I'm hoping to get access to a draggy soon, whether I purchase it or I get to use uh, buddies. But I'd really like to get my hands on one just to just to take a quicker look at this. Because as a rider, I'm you know 5'7, I weigh 140, 145 pounds. And so generally I'm able to get the max speeds that are uh, advertised on a lot of things. I just really want to get that damper. I cannot wait. Hitting 70 on this scooter is like my holy grail. I just want it to happen so bad. And once it does, I'll be I'll be content, you know? Cuz generally speaking, you you shouldn't be buying these types of scooters to be going the max speed at all times, right? I mean, in most cases that can be really unsafe. I mean, in fact, you could argue that the way I ride in most cases is very unsafe, but I personally am not planning on going 70 every time I take this thing out. On your left. Every once in a while though, for sure. And I think I almost hit that duck. I would have felt terrible. Literally would have felt just terrible that was one of my worries um, back when I worked in Bothell I used to ride a path home on my Xiaomi 
And at night, for whatever reason, the little rabbits would jump out onto the trail in front of you. I swear, they were intentionally trying to make people crash. It's like the rabbits knew. But, um... <laughs> that, always, uh, that always worries me, because I'd, I'd hate to crush a little rabbit with a scooter. I, I probably would never be able to use that scooter again if it's all gunked up. Ugh. I'm going to try to get some speed here, but this road isn't ideal for it just because there's a lot of slight imperfections. Getting a lot of things hitting. Is this? Wow, there must be a lot of soot out. So, I'm in Washington State, and there's a lot of wildfires in neighboring states right now that are blowing crap over here. And it feels like fucking rocks are like coming out of the air right now. It's crazy. This isn't hail, for sure, because that would be white. <laughs> that is so weird. But I don't know. Maybe the camera picked up a, a couple of them. Oh, it, it smells too. Whew. The slough usually doesn't smell like this. Something's up. It's definitely got to be in relation to the fires. And that's also why a lot of people aren't out today. It's like 94 degrees out. And it just smells like junk. And now it feels like rocks are hitting the face. So, huh. Anyways, I don't want the uh, whole video to be uh, filled with that. But hey, I mean, I guess that's the point. This is going to be a video series. And so, some videos are going to have some entertaining things. Some videos are just going to be silently riding along and hopefully you enjoying the sounds of uh, the world around me. Including the sounds this Bronco make. On your left. Get some speed going. God, I love how easy it is just to get to 40 on this thing. If you want it immediately, you can have that. If you want it gradually, you can have that. That's the beauty of the sine wave controller. You're just, you're really able to dial in you know, the speeds you want to go on the throttle. Get off those limes, buy a real scooter. <laughs> I say that, but the very first scooter I rode was a lime. And after spending about $80 on it within a month, I was like, hey, you know, as opposed to spending a ton of money on renting scooters, why don't I just buy one? So I promptly bought a Xiaomi M365. 
I still ride it every once in a while. It's been about two years now. Oh, a year and a half, sorry. But even after the firmware hack on that, allowing it to go 22 miles per hour, I just knew I needed something more. So I ended up getting the uh, Cabo Mantis Pro from Fluid Free Ride and just fell in love. I mean, that, that thing, whew. When I first got it, it was like the very first car I ever got, you know? I don't know, but for some reason it felt even better. Because I think scooters just really are my passion. I, I love electric scooters. Like my dream right now is to get a Rion and then eventually, potentially, design my own. I would love to design my own scooter. Kind of like a Alien Rides buddy did with the Goblin. Kind of slowing up here with a lot more people on the trail. But I'm actually about to get off and we'll be on Willows here shortly. On your left. Thank you. Don't hog the trail, people. All right, now normally on my Mantis, I'd probably hop the curb and go right off into the bike lane here, but I'm not gonna do that on this scooter. Uh, the reason why is the mudguard, fender, the two-in-one, whatever you want to call it, it actually hangs a bit too low. And so I found that I end up scraping quite a lot with it. So I'd rather not do that. Sorry if that was loud. But damn, do I love the speed I can get on this thing. Now the bike lane's closed up here due to cons construction, so I am just gonna go ahead and ride in the street. Which is fine, because this thing can hang. Like I said, the fastest I've gotten this up to was 56. But, stably, I've ridden this at about 53 to 54, without any wobbles or anything like that. So if anyone wants to speed over here, I'd be mighty obliged. Looks like I'm just going to pass this person. Now this road is 40, so might as well. Uh, usually this is uh, a lot more beautiful of a ride, but uh, with all the smoke, woof.
56. Woo, no wobbles. Good tire pressure plus good foot placement. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's fun. Now the bike, whoa, Jesus, I was going 57. The bike lane ends on the left, or a little bit up here, so I'm gonna stay on the road, so I gotta go left anyways. Now please don't ride like this, people at home. I'm crazy. I'd have to be, right? I'm yelling when I know the mic is right by my mouth. Sorry. I, I blame the adrenaline. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> Oh man. Ugh. All right, in the bike lane. person riding a scooter. Not mine though. <laughs> All right. Now my favorite hill. The reason why I love this hill is because of the gradual incline or the incline. There we go. Incline. <laughs> and the turning radius of it at the top. I don't know something about it. I just love zooming up it. The way you have to distribute your weight or something, plus the way you accelerate up it. I love that feel. I don't know what it is. And I probably just sound like a lunatic, but... You love what you love, right? And as for me, damn do I love scooters. Come on, dude. This guy's going slower than the speed limit. It's 35 on this road. Are you gonna turn? No.
I like how near the beginning of the video I said, I said, I wouldn't be going 56 again. Not only did I go 56, but I exceeded it. But no wobbles, so... I, I, I really, really just want the damper. <laughs> oh man. I mean, this is so much fun. Regardless of the speed I'm going. Well, I take that back. I definitely don't want to be going, you know, 5 to 10 miles per hour on something that weighs 105 pounds, you know? Like I said earlier, I'm 5'7", 145 pounds, max. It's 40 pounds off for me. That's, that's a lot of my body weight right there. Oh, it's so smoggy out though today. Which sucks because yesterday when I tried to take this video, which I'm still going to post some of it, I'm still going to have to, it was so beautiful that day, but I just messed up so many times on it, you know, that I decided I had to, uh, I had to give it one good written shot, at least to start out with, right? Don't worry guys, I'll, I'll, I'll get my uh, poop in a group. I'll get it together. I'll figure it out. But that said, this is basically where I'm going to end part one of this video. I'm going to go ahead and swap out the battery and then uh, finish out my ride. So. Give me just a moment here, and I'll be right back. And thank you so much for watching the video. Um, if you like what you see, please drop a like, and I hope to be putting out a ton of these videos moving forward. Thanks again. This is MTC. I'm out. <laughs>